Oh my God. I can't believe they call some thugs thugs. That's so racist. Yeah. So amazing. Everyone, please welcome to the show, Ty Smith. <laughs> What is really on Folk Yours and Folk Aramas? I am Ty Smith, Modern Renaissance Man. Welcome to my channel, Modern Renaissance Man. If you are someone who's been subscribed to my channel for a long time, double check to make sure that you are. But if you are fairly new to the channel, get an idea of what this channel is about. What do you do? Go to my channel, click on playlist. All these different things I do on this channel. See all these different thumbnails? Those are all different categories of things that I do on this channel. From comedy to cooking to DIY when it comes to fixing cars. There's a lot of things I do on this channel. So check the channel out in its entirety before you subscribe. I'm pretty sure you'll find something on here that you like. What's going on, folks? Appreciate y'all being here. Make sure you do everything I told you to do at the beginning of this video. Follow me here, there, there, and here. All right, folks. So y'all know. Here we go again. Woke. Black folks that just try to find some shape, form of fashion to want to call anything racist. Oh, my freaking God. Sympathy for the devil is what this is. Sympathy for the devil. Let me tell y'all something. I don't care who you are, what sex you claim to be or want to be, what color skin you are. Wrong is wrong, and Ty Smith is going to call it out, period. The more they keep wanting to push this stuff in the face, the more folks like me and other folks like myself who will speak out against this dumb stuff is going to fight back. You want to know why? They expect us all just to take it. Hear them cry out and say all this stuff, and we're just supposed to take it, accept it, and roll with it instead of us fighting back and saying something back. Nobody want to give these folks no pushback because people are scared. I'm not scared. I'm not scared of nobody or anything I will speak the truth regardless of whether it hurts your feelings or not. I don't do it with the intentions of going there and doing what I'm saying to hurt your feelings, but I'm going to call the bull crap out. It's no different you coming to me with the issue and doctors and different folks and different things like that or those professions. You come to them. You come to us in medicine and everything. You present us with a problem. We diagnose it. What I'm saying right here, this is a problem. I'm diagnosing this. What am I talking about? This is the ridiculous mayor. Kansas City mayor accuses governor of racial dog whistle for calling Super Bowl parade shooters thugs. What the freaking hell? What else you going to call them? You, oh, 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 I know what you want to do. We should call them what a whole lot of young people that's on the streets robbing and shooting and all that. We should call them what their parents and all their family call them at their funerals. He was very loving he, he gave his life to the Lord when he was four years old. He was baptized when he came out of the mother's placenta. That water represents the baptism. He always was a smile of the crowd. He was very, yeah, right. I'm calling, if they did this and they had anything to do with gang relation, it does not matter. Opening fire with guns in a crowded place like that, shooting guns, that is thug-like type behavior, period. I'm calling him a thug. Are you going to call me a racist? Make no dangle. Here you go. You just hurt me. Shut up. That stuff is not going to work on me. Try that with somebody that you can easily get over with that doesn't have no intellect to fight back and say something back against this dumb stuff. He shouldn't have called them shooters some thugs. Oh, we sorry. They were auditioning for Black Wick. Freaking heck out of here. Craziness. Make sure y'all hit that like button for me. I know I'm coming in. Guns blazing. I'm sorry, y'all. Kansas City Mayor Quentin Lucas accused Missouri Governor Mike Parson of using a racial dog whistle when referring to the suspected shooters at the Kansas City Chiefs Super Bowl parade as thugs. Lucas made the comment during an appearance on a local radio show up to date on Friday. He told KCUR host Steve Krask that he has seen similar incidents of alleged racism time and time again. There y'all go doing ra racism? Racism! These Negroes shot somebody and ended somebody's life. And because they want to call them a thug, oh, racism. The, boy, I swear y'all are out of y'all minds. But it's for a reason. Y'all do this because y'all know, and I'm telling you, white folks, listen to me. Listen to me. I know this might be hard. I know. I get it. I understand. I understand. Don't let this mess get to y'all. 
Let people like myself. See, because we, we, we can get up there and handle that. Because, you know, when y'all, if y'all try to get out there and do it, they're going to put you on the same boat. They're going to try to shout y'all down, shut you up if you get out and call a spade a spade. They're going to get mad and try to say y'all racist and you would say that because you got your white privilege, your supremacy, blah, blah, blah. No, no, no. Now, I would encourage y'all, look, do it. But for one, if some of y'all is scared that somebody's going to call y'all something, then don't say anything. If you have the boldness and the intellect to say this is completely wrong, this is stupid, it's dumb, yes, they are thugs for pulling out guns and shooting and ending somebody's life. Thug. Thugs. Thugs. When did thug end up being something that's only used for black people? As if white folks can't be thugs. As if Chinese people can't be thugs. The behavior that you are displaying and doing, if it's thug-like type behavior, a thug is a thug. This stupid mess. Following the shooting, Parsons has said, we can't let some thugs just take over and, and ruin what happened. And he's right. Try that in a small town. Oh, there goes racism, Jason Aldean song. Try that in a small town. Come on, man. Anyway, he said, I have respect for the governor. We get along well, Lucas told Kresk. I disagree strongly with how he would describe the situation. I certainly do not think this was criminal activity. It was lawlessness. Who breaks the law? I don't know. Maybe, uh, let's see. Uh, uh, criminals? How you gonna say, I don't think this was criminal activity? It was lawlessness, but the law was made for who? Criminal. Man, this, you can't make this stuff up. You. <laughs> and I think that this is troubling. But thugs is a dog whistle in most classic sense. No, my God, this is absolutely ridiculous. He said, I've seen this dog whistle time and time again. There's this kind of giant conservative theory on social media now. Oh, now it's a conservative theory. We from the hood in Chicago and stuff, and in the, in the central, no, we call people. It was a thing that was really something to be proud of when we was on the streets. Being a thug, why? Because thugs robbed, they shot, they strong-armed, they deleted, you know, got rid of somebody's life. That's what they did, and they were proud of it. Tupac had a song, All Eyes on Me. Living life as a thug, nigga, until the day I die. Living life as a boss player because we be getting hot. He said it. Thug life. Thug life. Well, Tupac wasn't no thug. Tupac telling you he a thug, and you said, you shouldn't be calling Tupac a thug. That's a rick. Come on, man. That's a conservative. No, conservative. It's just a people in general. It's an all around, all human. What, what, you, what should we call them? What should we call them? Huh? What should we call them? If we don't call them thugs, what? Can we, can we, what, what you gonna call them? Boy, this is crazy. This woke stuff is just ridiculous. He said, this is absolutely preposterous. What's preposterous is the fact that you are sitting there saying that these people ain't thugs. These are protections of juvenile. It does not matter. The little nigglets was thugs. They were thugs. You can be 12, 13 years old in Chicago and things like that. They do it. I'm not just, I'm not just saying this for Chicago. It goes over in a whole lot of seasons. But if you are a young person, black or white, if you are robbing, stealing, beating up people, playing a knockout game, doing any of those things like that, you fit the category of a thug and you shall be called a thug as such. Plain and simple. Come at me with this bull crap. I would love to sit down and do an interview with these people like this. Because all they're doing it for is an agenda. It's nothing more than to push a grifting money grab to get black people all over. Yeah, why do you always want to call us some thugs? What? No, it ain't about calling us thugs, black people. It's, it's not about calling people like, if they call somebody a thug that happened to be black, I'm going to be like, yep, that was a thug. If they call somebody that's a thug that happened to be white, yep, that was a thug right there. Now, what they want to do, black folks, is they think that y'all are stupid and they think that you are dumb, that what you're going to do, you're going to jump on board. Yeah, wild black people always got to be thugs. No, 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 no. Don't fall for that. Those type of black people are the thugs. Come on, let's keep it real. The ones that's from the streets, the gangs, the hood. Now, I'm not talking about people that live in the hood or in the projects per se. I'm talking about those particular individuals that know that that's what that life is about. They are about that life, and we call them as such. The freaking heck out of here. We shouldn't call them. So what they want to do, they want all black people to get roused up and pissed off and respond with emotion. Oh, he understand what those kids did, but you don't call no juveniles. No, Yes, they're thugs. They're thugs. Y'all, I ain't about to say no more about this dumb stuff. I would love, I would love, I would love. The governor of Missouri, 
because I love the laws there. Because I go like anyway, you were absolutely right, thugs. You have my you you you. They took my black card. I don't even care because I'm not a part of that black card culture anyway. So I don't. They can have that card. When I got away from that life. That card stayed right there. So, yes, yes. And when they say you may be skin folk, but you ain't kin folk, you're darn right. Because the skin folk that y'all trying to put me on and trying to compare me to and saying that I should have some relation to, I'm not a part of that culture at all. Yes, that's right. I, yeah, black card can stay there. Keep it there. That score on that, that black card is gone. I got a new black card. It's called common sense. It's called having an intellect. It's called knowing that I'm not an African American, or I'm not gonna. I know they call us black, but what I am for, I am an American. That card. And when you become one of those, you see that a whole lot of possibilities are open to you. You can do whatever you want in this world. But if I see somebody committing crimes, that's why we call them criminals. What does that mean? Pertaining to criminal crime, thugs. This is what they do. Look up thugs, y'all. Anyway, I'm not about to go no more into this. Would you do me a favor if you haven't done it and you just now listen to me for the first time? Make sure you subscribe to the channel. If you have been following me, you've been seeing some of the videos I've been doing thus far and you've been loving them and liking them, make sure you guys do me a favor. Get into those cell phones. Find somebody in the contact list and tell them about this channel. I definitely want to know what y'all think about this right here. Leave it in the comment section. Let's hear this, folks. I'm posting this tonight. Like, I'm posting this February the 18th, 1130 tonight. I was going to put this up for tomorrow, pre-recorded, but I'm doing this tonight. I want y'all to hear this. This is crazy. I am Ty Smith, the model renaissance man, hoping and praying that every last one of you have food, shelter, and clothing. And most of all, I pray every last one of you guys are in great health, mentally, physically, emotionally, and spiritually. God bless you all through Jesus. What's going on, everybody? So, hey, check this out. I appreciate you guys watching. I appreciate you taking time out of your day to view these videos. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up. And also, right here is where you can catch the next video, the latest video that I've done. But, like, right up here, this is stuff that I've done kind of in the past. So, in this area, you might find a video that I've done in the past. It can be funny. It can be something serious. It does not matter. But this is something that you can also do to check out more material that I do in my channel. Because I do a lot in this channel, all right? So again, appreciate everything from you guys. Keep on watching it. Keep on supporting it. And God bless you all.